Watch you guys, I've had another video request on how to clean up audio files. Uh, one of my members has said that he makes a podcast and when he does his recording, the computer next to him gets picked up on the actual microphone and the audio sounds quite nasty. And he wants to know how to remove all that nasty sound from his audio uh, so he can get it sounding like my audio. Well, I can assure you my audio is not as clean as you think it is because I don't actually run any cleaning uh, process on my audio uh, and I'll show you that. So we're going to be using a free program called Audacity to clean up your audio, okay? So let's open this up. And uh, I'm going to load up a, an audio file of a, a video I've done a couple of days ago. So I'm going to import this audio file. And this is the process that you're going to need to do as well. It also helps to have a really decent microphone, okay? And a pop filter and all those sorts of uh, utilities you can use on your uh, audio to keep it clean. So here we've got our clean audio file. And it's not cleaned yet, but I've named it clean because that's what it's going to be. And I also want to open up another audio file which is identical. So we can actually uh, use it as a reference of what it sounds like once it's been cleaned. Okay, so now we've got our identical files open, one called clean and one with the original name on it. So let's first have a look at the audio itself. If I take a selection here, and I'll put the speakers on so you can hear it hopefully, and push play. Now the reason why this is a real good way to start is be and as you can see at the beginning there was a bit of noise there and it carried on into the audio. Let me play that again. Now the reason why this is a real good way to start is be so you can see the background noise is being carried into the audio and that just shows you that I don't actually clean my audio up at all. Um, so, and I'm using a snowball mic here. So if we look at an area here, this little tiny blank area, this is the moment where I make a pause in my uh, speaking, which isn't often. <laughs> but you can see there is an actual area which is uh, just noise. Let me just play this noise here. You can see it on the graph at the top. And you can also hear it, hopefully. And that's just background noise. And there we are back. So we don't want that last part. So what we want to do here is make a selection of our noise sample. Okay, it could be any blank area. Now what I'd advise you to do is when you're recording your audio is leave about 10 seconds of pure silence and just record that uh, sound and then do your recording and that will give you a nice blank area to work with to use to clean up your audio okay as a reference point I don't do it so you can see there's no real big lengthy uh, blank audio here and this is going to be much more difficult for me to clean so let's uh, take a sample of this audio go to effect noise removal and then get a noise profile what that's going to do is make a profile of this noise sample that I've selected here. I now need to go control A and this will select all the audio and then I'm going to go back to effect back to noise removal and there you can see we're in step 2 here now and we can now play around with the noise reduction okay. Now you can choose whatever levels you like and you can preview the, the actual sound of the uh, removal process of what it sounds like. You can even isolate the sound if you wish and we're just going to do the removal part here um, but again don't try to force it too much and do too high a level because what's going to happen is it's going to really sort of ruin your audio so you want to try to keep it not too high you know not too too aggressive and uh, also the sensitivity part here you can play around with and the frequency smoothing okay so you can just uh, play around with that area there. So we'll just we'll just leave it around about here, say, and then we'll do the removal process. Now again, you can use a preview, but this has got an intro already in it, so it's only going to preview the intro. So 
so there's no speaking at all in there and that's what I wanted really to actually get the sound but what you'll see is when I clean this and click OK you'll see these little gaps here suddenly go straight and flat and that means they've been cleaned out so let's have a look I'll move this to the side and you can see this area here there we go and that's now all been cleaned so there's no sound at all in this area here now it's just nice and clean as you can see okay so now um, now we've done that let's have a listen to the actual sound at the beginning where we played it here so there'll be a little bit of a gap of no sound at all and then me speaking and let's have a listen Now the reason why this is a real good way to start is because this gives us plenty of options as you can see much much cleaner than what it was before so let's have a listen to it on this level here which is the original file and I'll let it play a little bit at the beginning and then you'll hear me speaking and you will still hear that sound. Now the reason why this is a real good way to start is because this gives us plenty of there you go that's the original so you can see there's a marked improvement on that audio already now you can play around with it and uh, make more changes and you can do that by going to the edit and uh, preferences and making changes to the quality of the audio and uh, you can run through this um, here make sure it's on two channels and so on and so on okay and once you've got all that set up you can then run through the effects area and uh, do some more stuff like uh, normalization uh, what that's going to do is it's going to restore the audio levels to its maximum volume that it can take without distorting, okay? And that should uh, bring the volumes and level them all out. You can use Levelator as well, which is another tool which you can get off the internet, okay? Which will do something similar and levelate all the uh, sound on there. There's also, um, you've got a leveler here as well built into Audacity. But there's also a high pass filter which will take out a lot of the noise as well. But then you, you're getting into more complex uh, cleaning and uh, that's going to take a lot more work. But I think you agree that that sound quality there is still uh, adequate to what you need. Now you can also uh, come to effect and go bass and treble here and bump up the uh, bass if you wish. To give it a little bit more bassier feel to your voice if it's a little bit tinny. Uh, or trebly I should say and move the treble down if you wish and you can preview that as well let's have a preview now the reason why this is a real good way to... and as you can see a nice much more deeper uh, tone to the voice there now if you haven't got a very deep voice then that's good to up that a little bit there uh, in my opinion but there you go that's pretty much how you can clean up your audio and get it sounding real nice okay and that was a real couple of simple steps there and then all you need to do then is uh, save your audio file export that file okay and uh, to whatever you want to do uh, you can save it to uh, mp3 or whatever you want okay and then just push save and that will save your file and that's basically how you clean up your audio uh, in audacity for free and I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, hit that subscribe button and show your support by rating and favoriting my videos. And I'll be making more useful videos again in the future. Now, if you've got any video requests just like this guy did, then send me a message and I'll do my best to make those videos for you. Okay, and thanks again for watching, guys, and have a great weekend. And I'll see you real soon. Bye for now.